we, we've done uh, a live video, something like this before, and the topic continues to come up in my counseling sessions, people trying to understand this whole thing of love and why does my relationship not work and why do I return to the chaos and drama and how come I'm not like other couples or we're not like other couples where we can get it together. And a number of years ago in our practice, we were trying to describe to people the different types of love. And we put it on a scale and we understood that there are all kinds of love and there's dysfunctional love, which is still love, which is absolutely shocking, right? But you can be in a relationship with someone and totally love them and have it incredibly filled with chaos and drama, or you can go ahead and have a, a friendship love, or you can go ahead and have a love that's extremely beautiful. And it's all love, and it really is. And before I go to the scale, I want to tell you a story. A couple years ago, a woman came in the office and she couldn't understand why her relationship was so filled with just chaos, drama, nonsense, etc. And so I asked her what she felt about her boyfriend. And she said, David, I love him more than I've loved any other man in my life. And I said, wow, okay, that's a great start. So what's he complaining about? And she went on to tell me, and she was honest, which was quite shocking in your first counseling session for someone to be so brutally honest. She said, I don't know why I do the things I do, but I'm constantly disappointing him. I'm breaking my word. He'll ask me to do A, I'll tell him I will, I won't. I won't think anything about it. I'll just walk away and say, oh, I'll do it later if I feel like it and I won't do it. He'll call me out that night and now he wants to end the relationship. But I love him more than anyone I've ever loved in my life. So to try to help her understand the type of love she felt because I didn't wanna discount the fact that she loved this guy, we came up with a scale and I explained it to her like this. There's a scale of love on one to 10. One is an outrageously dysfunctional love. We'll look at it as incredible physical and emotional abuse. It's still love. When I work with uh, the battered women syndrome and they continue to return to a man who has beaten them emotionally, beaten them physically, and they'll say, I love him. I say, I understand, you do. It's a fully dysfunctional form of love, but you're right, it is a form of love. And then we get to five. And five is respect and friendship. And you can love someone, whether it's an intimate relationship or a friendship or a family member, and you're right there. You have respect, you listen, you communicate. You may have disagreements. Uh, you may have some a little bit of chaos and drama. But if you look at 90% of the relationship at a level five, it's filled with respect. You know, It's filled with understanding, compassion, integrity, honesty, all of those kind of things. And then you go to 10. 10 is rare. It's one of the rarest forms of love ever between two people, two humans, and that would be unconditional love. But it's really rare, man. I, in 37 years of working in this industry, I may have seen it one or two times at the most, and I mean that sincerely. Now, there's a better chance of having unconditional love or a 10 between a parent and a child than between two parents just the truth, or a dog. <laughs> you have a lot of tens with dogs and their masters, right? But let's go back to the, the story I was giving. So it took me about a month to get this woman to understand that she was in love and I respected the love that she had, but it wasn't a healthy love. It was a dysfunctional love. And when we went back and looked at her childhood, her role models were horrendous. Mom was not a great role model. Dad was not a great role model. They got divorced and then mom married again, a terrible male role model. So she grew up in chaos and drama. And because of that, in her subconscious mind, she perceived that as love. Two people stay together through insanity because they love each other, which is called codependency, which is called uh, un, uh, not an unconditional form of love. It's called a chaotic or dysfunctional form of love. At the end of a month, she was able to understand she loved this guy more than anything, but her capability of loving in a healthy way at this point in her life was absolutely zero. The guy ended up leaving her because she lied more than she told the truth. She would push back more than she would be real, compassionate, and honest. And so over time, she got a chance to understand. And when we came in and she would actually repeat these words, David, I love him in a fully dysfunctional way. And as I started to help her see the reality of her love, we were able to make huge headways. Now, that's a number of years ago. I haven't run into her since, but when she left, I think she truly understand, understood that there's dysfunctional love, which is a one to four. Then there's healthy love, which begins five and above. Where are you? Have you thought about it? Where have your past relationships been? If they didn't work out, 
It was probably a form of dysfunctional love. When we can own that and look at it and treat it with kids' gloves, like, wow, I may have done the best I could, but it's a form of dysfunctional love, we can start to heal. But what most of us do is we project the problem was our partner. The problem was I pick bad people. The reality is you're 50% of the issue. When you can accept that and say, wow, I haven't had a relationship that lasted more than a month that was a five, which means respect, honesty, compassion, empathy, sympathy. If you can put all those emotions into a love relationship, you're at a five. You can go above, absolutely. But that's the starting point of healthy love. If I can help you at all, email me at talkdavid.com. We have all kinds of programs that I can work with you on in order to bring you from a two, a four, a five, up to six, seven, and eight. It's possible if you're willing to do the work. And the rewards are amazing. And all of our counseling work is 100% guaranteed. Go to talkdavid.com or davidessel.com. I'm going to put information below this too. And don't forget, we've got a brand new program David Essel's Daily Video Boost, a motivational system where you're going to get a video from me, an exclusive online community, David Essel's Daily Video Boost, and that's at talkdavid or davidessel.com, okay? So work on the scale of 1 to 10. Where are you now? Be honest with yourself. If it's dysfunctional on a regular basis, it's dysfunctional love. I can help you if you need help at the website. Have an awesome day.